Hello, vinyl community. How you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. We're going to do a whack-a-mole. What is a whack-a-mole? So, Mazzy, over at the channel Norm Norman Maslov, uh, we all know him and love him. Um, in the event that you don't, I've put his channel link down below for you to check out. Highly recommend that you do. Great guy. Uh, genuine, fun, entertaining, snarky. Um, has an incredible amount of knowledge in regards to music and um, has uh, one of the most incredible collections. Uh, so Mazzy has a series on his channel called Whack-A-Mole. And what he does is he randomly pulls five records from his uh, record library, his wall of records that's behind him. And uh, he randomly selects them without looking and then talks about them. So for his 50th episode of Whack-A-Mole, he uh, wanted to have a contest and invited everyone to do their own whack-a-mole. So that's what I'm here to do. So a little bit of a different setup here and lighting. Uh, there was too much glare coming off that light there, so I turned it off. Um, hopefully it's not too dark here. Uh, but I'm going to randomly pick five albums and talk about them. Um, thanks a lot, Mazzy. I hope you enjoy this. And uh, let's get started. So move this chair out of the way. I actually had to uh, do some rearranging here because I this area is kind of childproof because my son likes to get into stuff. So I had to move that out of the way. I had some uh, record overflow on the floor that I had to move out of the way. Um, but I'm going to pull five random records and uh, we're going to avoid this cube here because this video it's a no Phil Collins it's a no Phil Collins fly zone um, and that cube has my Genesis and related album so lots of Phil Collins in there that we're just gonna, not gonna touch so five records I'm gonna pull randomly I'm gonna get started here okay just uh One, I'm gonna avoid that one. Um, let's see. Okay, two. Let's see here. Gotta crouch down a little bit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's see what we got here. First, uh, this is red clay, and um, who was it that just showed this? Dylan over at Noble Records. Is this better if I do it this side? Uh, Sorry, it's a little uh, unorganized here, but so Red Clay, um, Freddie Hubbard with Joe Henderson, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Lenny White. Um, great, great lineup. Um, yeah, this is on the CTI label. Um, I have a reissue or repress of it here. Um, yeah, this is a great album. Um, it's different than, um, you know, Freddie Hubbard in, on his Blue Note output, but, uh, you know, it's maybe more, um, soul and funk jazz, uh, but great album. And this, 
came out or was recorded in 1970. So um, I'm not sure what year it came out. 72, it looks like. I think that's what that says. So Freddie Hubbard, Red Clay on the CTI label. Very good album. Okay, next up. This is, uh, yes, Big Generator. Um, so this is, yes, in their pop stage. Um, so uh, what year did this come out? 87 or 88? Uh, 87. <laughs> Had a couple uh, radio hits with uh, Rhythm of Love and Love Will Find a Way. Uh, regular rotation on MTV. Um, this tour was the first time that I've seen Yes in concert. Um, and a little fun fact, Yes is the band I have seen the most in concert. It's uh, somewhere around 14, 15, 16 times. I'm not exactly sure of the number. Um, <clears throat> but for years and years, I... Um, the label when I first came out I loved this album um, I was kind of a newer fan to yes at that point um, didn't even really know their full cat catalog when this came out um, uh, but for years and years I kind of got I got tired of the album and I thought it kind of felt it wasn't as good as a lot of their other output and it doesn't really compare to, um, you know, early 70s, yes, which I loved, 70, 70 to 72 period. Um, but um, I remember pulling this out probably a year and a half ago and putting it on and really, really enjoying it um, a lot more than I thought I would. And... Uh, one track in particular, um, I'm Running, is uh, really proggy and a really great track. And I, I just remember really enjoying this album. Um, so I've listened to it a few times since then. Uh, but glad I pulled it out back then because uh, I had always kind of discounted it um, since not listening to it for a while. All right, so next... Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Um, so this is live Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I think it's their first live album. Um, well, it's it's not their first. It's not their first live album. So pictures at an exhibition, which was their. Um, came out before this a couple albums before this that was uh also live but this is their live album uh that kind of takes tracks from the previous albums whereas pictures of from an exhibition was uh its own standalone thing um so this came out after their um brain cell surgery album uh they had a real big tour for that album um quite a stage set up there it's a triple gatefold um you can see elp so this copy i picked up back in the 80s um from a local record store called memory lane which uh, actually is still there i don't go there all that frequently because uh the guy's a chain smoker and uh, everything in there smells of smoke. And uh, it's actually hard to be in the store because it, it's so overtaken by uh, cigarette smoke. Uh, but really, really good live Emerson Lake and Palmer album here. Um, it starts off with Hoedown, which is a phenomenal opening song for a concert. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Great stuff there. Okay, next is El Dorado by ELO. Um, 
I don't know the year off the top of my head. It's 74, it looks like. <clears throat> so, uh, this was fourth or fifth ELO album, I think. Um, really, really good album. Uh, El Dorado Overture, Can't Get It Out of My Head. Uh, El Dorado. El Dorado Finale. Yeah, really, really good, solid ELO album. Um, Can't Get It Out of My Head was a radio hit for them. Kind of gave them a, a little more uh, momentum into their popularity. Um, this is on United Artists. Of course, I didn't mention it. Uh, ELO with uh, the great Jeff Lynn. Um, Jeff Lynn from previously The Move. And then and uh, what was the f idol, idol race, I think it was. Um, some, uh, uh, what was the name of that band? Uh, the idol, idol Race? Something like that. Um, and then The Move, and then uh, ELO, and a uh, great album here. Okay, last album. And it's a good one. This is uh, Michael Nesmith and pretty much your standard ranch stash. So, pretty big Michael Nesmith fan. He's got a little play on uh, kind of uh, Electric Ladyland there, Jimi Hendrix cover uh, with some nude women. Um, but this came out in... I don't know it here. Um, 70. I can't see it, but. Uh, what year was this? 73. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, so great album. Has songs like Continuing and some of Shelley's Blues which are really great tracks. Winona. Um, so the first side is all um, Nesmith Originals. And the second side is, is kind of uh, <coughs> um, remakes. So Baby Born to Love, The Back Porch and a Fruit Jar Full of Iced Tea, and Prairie Lullaby. Um, but really love Michael Nesmith and um, solid release here by him. He's an artist that uh, <clears throat> he kind of disappeared for a long time. I should mention he was in the Monkees and then uh, kind of was pioneering the way for uh, country rock. Um, or was one of the pioneers with his, with the first national band. And um, he never really had much success as a solo artist. Um, but his solo records, a lot of them are just really, really uh, great releases that uh, I wish people would uh, take, take some time and listen to them because uh, they're very, very good. So this is pretty much your standard rash, ranch stash by Michael Nesmith, 1973. So that was my whack-a-mole. Little, uh, <laughs> little uh, fumbling over my words there a little bit. But Mazzy, uh, this was fun. Thank you for the contest. Um, good luck to everyone who's been doing this. Um, I've seen a handful of the videos. I, I need to watch a lot more. Uh, it's been challenging watching, getting time to watch videos lately. Because I've been trying to get caught up with all the vinyl tag videos and then, of course, the whack-a-mole videos. Um, yeah, there's just not enough time in the day. <laughs> so, everyone, thank you for watching and um, hope you're all doing well. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of these five albums. If you have any, any opinion at all. Um, Freddie Hubbard, Red Clay... Yes, big generator. 
Emerson, Mike, and Palmer. Welcome back, my friends. The show that never ends, ladies and gentlemen. Emerson, Mike, and Palmer. Um, El Dorado, a symphony by the Electric Light Orchestra. And then Michael Nesmith, pretty much uh, your standard ranch stash. So once again, if you're not familiar with Norman Maslov, the link is down below. He goes by Mazzy. Great, great channel. Very entertaining. Great guy. Fun. Fun to correspond with. And, um, yeah. So that's going to do it for me. Everyone take care. Hope you're all doing well. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.